And God has prepared a place where sinners will be turned into hell in answer for punishment or punishment due to their sins. I read in the Bible that the Lord Jesus Christ came into the world as a substitute to die in the place of the sinner. My Lord Jesus, when he died, took all the guilt which I had accrued, as it were, took all the charges, all the charges which were against me, upon his own shoulders. And my Lord Jesus, when he died on the cross, cried out unto God, it is finished. The work of redemption was complete. He died. He gave himself into the hands of justice and suffered on my behalf. I read in the Bible, through my study, through my diligent reading, and you do not get these things preached and talked about today in the churches around Nailsville. The Lord, the promises of eternal life, the promises of all the blessings which Christ came to give are promised to the righteous. Where did this wicked young man find righteousness? The Bible informed me that the righteous life of my Lord Jesus Christ, all that he did whilst he was on earth, he lived a very good life. You cannot find a fault in the Lord Jesus Christ's life. On two occasions the Father spake from heaven and said, Behold my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. His Father was very pleased with his life which he led. He lived a righteous life. He is the Lord, the only righteous one, the only perfect man ever existed. Born of a virgin. Mystery indeed, God and come, coming to this world in a perfect righteous life. And I read in the Bible that this glorious righteousness is given to all that believe in Him. And all the blessings and promises which are promised to the righteous are theirs because God makes them righteous by giving them the righteousness of Jesus Christ. He removes their guilt, their sins, and gives them the righteousness of Jesus Christ. And this is the gospel, which hath changed the world and transformed the Western world. Luther was a man that God raised up and delivered this Europe from popery because the church had come to such decline that men came to be taught, began to be taught this, that salvation was to be found only in the church. That, friend, is a lie. Salvation is only to be found in the Lord Jesus Christ. A church cannot save you. Your good works cannot save you. Your family upbringing, your traditional church life cannot save you. You can attend church, you can teach in a Sunday school all your life, it will not save you. It cannot save you. There is only one Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. He came into the world to save sinners, he saved me. Called upon his name. He answered my cry. And this same Lord Jesus, whom I worship and seek in prayer and call upon today, hath blessed me with a family, with a children, with a home, with a job which far exceeds and is above and beyond me of all that ever I could ask or think. It is the Lord's doing. The Lord Jesus Christ do it. And he can do the same 
for sinners such as I was. In speaking to Moses, he said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, salvation is not to do with the will of man. Scripture says, it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but God that shows mercy. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. It is only the love of God which separated me and called me. There was nothing in me to merit salvation. In fact, I was the unworthiest of sinners to be to come to know Jesus Christ. Some of my friends, they were not all drunkards, nor all the criminals. Some were quite moral upright and so on. But they, if you like, according to the world's terms, they deserve this salvation more than me. But God's salvation is nothing to do with the merit or demerit of man. God saves who he wills. If he has purposes of grace to save you, he put it into your heart to see him. And they that seek the Lord Jesus Christ, while it is today, will find him. The steward of this household in Luke 14, the text of scripture which we read, was informed to go out in the highways and byways of compelled to come. This, I believe, is a theology and the evangelism of the Bible. To go personally to your parents, family, home, then preachers into the highways and the byways compelled them to come in, to hear of all what God is doing in the Lord Jesus Christ and through him. And to such people that fear that they are sinful men and want to be saved with the salvation which Jesus Christ came to bring. Jesus Christ says this, Come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Those of you that have lived life know what it is to suffer torment of mind, distraction of mind, trouble, disorder, having in the mind, trouble, Break up in business, in homes, and everything. There is only one God that can answer your needs. The Lord Jesus Christ. He is the one to look to, and he is the Lord that I bring to you and speak to you of today. He's a very good Savior. I can direct you to the Bible. I can direct you to the Lord Jesus Christ. You look with it. You read your Bible. And I'm sure the friends here that be it, and my home is open, and it will be open day and night to seeking sinners that want to know about the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a purpose for which churches are established, to preach the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the pastor here. I can't direct you to a minister. Here. But all I can do is bring to you what the Lord Jesus Christ has taught me from reading his book. And the friends here that have experienced the same salvation, I'm sure, will be more than pleased to speak to you about what God has done for them. Therefore, what more can I say? The Lord Jesus Christ has saved me. Did I have a good service, don't you think? Is the same and will do the same until he brings this world to a close and all the sinners that forget God will be turned into hell. And all they that are redeemed with this salvation that will enter into that kingdom which has been prepared before ever the world was. They don't deserve it. They've got nothing to boast of. All that they can boast of is that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord the Saviour, 
It is absolutely a free gift of God. That reaffirms us the gospel. And may, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all evermore.